Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Mambo imechemka. And this is exactly what I've always said in this channel. That when it comes to politics, <laughs> don't you ever joke with President William Ruto. No matter how much you hate William Ruto. <laughs> you know, many people hate William Ruto, right? I mean, many people don't actually hate William Ruto. People are just very bitter with President William Ruto. But the fact still remains that President William Ruto is still winning. You know why? Because William Ruto is indeed the master of politics. So why exactly am I telling you all this? Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my YouTube channel. And let us begin this particular video here officially. I want you to follow this analysis very keenly. So the former head of state, <laughs> Uhuru Muge Kenyatta himself, has already nominated two leaders from his side. These two leaders here are officially said to be appointed by President William Ruto in Ruto's government positions. The most interesting thing here is that one of these two leaders will actually be the CS for Interior. These two leaders that I'm talking about here are the Jubilee Party Secretary General, Jeremiah Kioni himself, and the former Cabinet Secretary for Health, Honorable Mutai Kagwe. <laughs> this is very interesting, right? So the former Nyeri MP, Honorable Gujiri Wambugu. I know that most of you know about Gujiri Wambugu. Gujiri Wambugu and this person called Wahome Thuku. <laughs> Gujiri Wambugu, don't forget that he is actually one of the political advisors of the former DP, Rigatika Shagwa, including I mean, Wahome Thuku. So Gujiri Wambugu and Wahome Thuku are totally shocked by Uhuru Kenyatta's move. And I'll actually read for you the reaction from Gujiru Wambugu and Wahome Thuku after Uhuru Kenyatta's sudden move. Gujiru Wambugu is very angry at Uhuru Kenyatta. I'll still explain to you all this. Why is Gujiru Wambugu and Wahome Thuku very angry at Uhuru Kenyatta? It turns out that Gujiru Wambugu and other leaders, close associates of the former DP, Rigadi Gashagwa, were already reaching out to the former president, Uhuru Muge Kenyatta, for a handshake with the former DP, Rigadi Gashagwa. But Uhuru Kenyatta refused. Uhuru Kenyatta replied to Rigadi Gashagwa's handlers, political advisors, including Gujiru Wambugu, with only one message. This was the message from Uhuru Kenyatta. I am not interested. <laughs> now, let me read for you uh, a very interesting article here from the newspaper, which clearly explains what really happened. It says, did brokers dupe? Did Regadiga Shagwa's brokers deceived and tricked? It proceeds to say that. A beleaguered politician. The word beleaguered means that a politician who is currently in a very, very difficult political situation <laughs> ahead of the 2027 general election. So a beleaguered politician that they could arrange a meeting for him with a senior leader. Who is this senior leader? So a politician who is currently in a very difficult situation was to meet with a very senior leader, right? This leader, he viciously, he viciously fought during his heyday. Now, this politician here, <laughs> who is Rigadi Kashagwa, 
during his heyday, during his greatest political success, when he was really popular, Rigathi Gashagwa used to viciously fight this leader. So this leader here is Uhuru Kenyatta, right? Well, corridors of power has learned that the troubled man <laughs> was kept waiting at a hotel after parting with millions of shillings <laughs> in the hope of meeting the man to mend fences. So he was to meet with this man for the handshake. So Rigadi Gashago was to meet Uhuru Kenyatta for a handshake. So he was kept waiting in a hotel for four good hours. Right? <laughs> it proceeds to say that. Uh, apparently, the influential leader was not even aware of this meeting. So after waiting for more than four hours, the politician was shocked to receive a very short and succinct reply SMS. The word succinct means very brief information, very brief <laughs> message. Uh -huh. What does this message say? Not interested. <laughs> so his antlers, his advisors said this politician nearly collapsed in shock. So Uhuru Kenyatta here rejected Rigadiga Shagwa's handshake to fight President William Ruto ahead of the 2027 20, elections. So I will still give you information about uh, Rigadi Gashagwa's handlers, the political advisors, including Gujiru Wambugu, how they reacted to Uhuru Kenyatta working with President William Ruto. So I was explaining to you how Uhuru Kenyatta nominated these two leaders, Mutai Kagwe and Jeremiah Kioni, to President William Ruto's government. Let me give you the shocking information. But before we begin, just a quick reminder. Ladies and gentlemen, if you are listening to me up to this point and you haven't subscribed to this channel, I want to be very quick. I want to be very brief. I want you to take one second or two and hit the subscribe button down below for you to be able to receive more political updates, daily political analysis from this channel. Meaning, immediately I post a video here. If you have subscribed, you will not miss any video because YouTube will automatically send you the notification. To my returning subscribers, thank you so much. To the new members, you can also give this video a like so that YouTube can recommend this video in particular and this channel to reach out to more people. That is the only way we can improve this channel to grow. You can also support me, my work here in this channel, by simply using the M-Pesa TIN number that is currently on your screen. The, the number is 3024302. Thank you so much for your support. Without further ado, let us proceed. And I want you to follow this analysis very keenly to the end. You will learn a lot of things that is currently happening in our political field ahead of the 2027 20, elections. So, is Uhuru Kenyatta working with William Ruto? The answer is yes. Let me first of all prove to you that Uhuru Kenyatta is indeed working with William Ruto ahead of the 2027 20, elections. I will prove it to you using Uhuru Kenyatta's very close political allies. The first person is Jeremiah Kioni. Jeremiah Kioni is the Jubilee Party Secretary General. So let me show you this particular message from Jeremiah Kioni himself personally. All of a sudden, starting to support President William Ruto and Professor Kiture Kindiki. So he is supporting and is championing for President William Ruto's administration, the Kenya Kwanzaa Alliance, all of a sudden. So this is the message. Let me just show you. He says this. He posted a photo here of the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta and the current uh, DP. I mean, uh, Professor Kiture Kindiki, and he said this. This was the way to go from the beginning for this particular administration. Have you listened to the tone? Of course, yes. A lot of drama <laughs> would have been avoided. All in all, here we are. To my brother, <laughs> to my brother Kiture Kindiki, wishing you 
the very best. So he's supporting William Ruto's administration, saying that he should have appointed Kithure Kindiki from the beginning. Much drama would have been avoided. Then he posts Uhuru Kenyatta's photo with Kithure Kindiki, right? Another proof of this person called Pauline Joroge. You may be asking yourself, who is Pauline Joroge? Now, Pauline Joroge was the personal communications manager of Uhuru Kenyatta. Nowadays, Pauline Joroge is strongly supporting President William Ruto's administration. And for you to prove this, I just want to send you directly, just to go to Pauline Joroge's social media handles, Twitter and Facebook. You will be shocked how Pauline Joroge used to criticize President William Ruto so much. And currently, she is the one who is posting William Ruto's achievements. You know, she is supporting William Ruto strongly. So that is a clear proof that, is in, that indeed, if Jeremiah Kioni, who is the Jubilee Party Secretary General, <laughs> whose boss is Uhuru Kenyatta himself, is supporting William Ruto, do you want to tell me that, you know, you know, remember that, always remember this. In politics, everything happens with a reason, not just coincidence, right? And William Ruto, the reason as to why William Ruto keeps on winning, William Ruto understands very well that in politics, each and every person, as long as you are a politician, each and every politician has a price. That is a secret towards William Ruto's success in politics. So, uh, let, me, let me go straight to how uh, Uhuru, I mean, William Ruto appointed um, Mutai Kagwe, the former CS for, for, for I mean, uh, for health after nomination from Uhuru Kenyatta. Let me just prove it to you. This is this photo here is from Mutai Kagwe himself. These photos were captured yesterday during a very special event that was conducted in Nyeri County. Mutai Kagwe met with Nyeri leaders, I mean Nyeri elders, to receive blessings as he heads to President William Ruto, as he joins President William Ruto's government. So you can see these photos, I'm told that these elders are called Kiyama Kiyama elders from Yeri. I don't know if I've pronounced that word very well. Maybe uh, the Kikuyus who are listening to me, maybe the people from my Kenya region, you can tell me in the comment section down below so that I can know. So the announcement was from the star. The star announced this. Let me just read for you. Elders from the Kikuyu community gathered on Friday, which was yesterday, in Yeri, in Yeri, and unanimously expressed, expressed support for the former health CS, Mutai Kagwe. Mutai Kagwe's inclusion in President William Ruto's government, you know, so he's going to be appointed as a cabinet secretary in William Ruto's government. Mutai Kagwe's first step is to meet the Nyeri elders to receive the blessings. That one we are done with it. So Mutai Kagwe will be appointed as the CS in William Ruto's government, nominated by Uhuru Kenyatta. How did Uhuru Kenyatta nominate Mutai Kagwe? That is another thing. So this is Tony, Ka Tony Gashoka's reaction after Uhuru Kenyatta's deal with William Ruto. He says this, and I want to direct you to Tony Gashoka's Twitter handle, and you will learn a lot of things. This guy posts a very, 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 very unique very unique political uh, situations in the country. You will be very much updated. And I want to assure you that this guy is very wrong, very correct in what he posts. So Tony Gashoga said this through his reaction, that William Ruto deal, I mean Uhuru Kenyatta and William Ruto deal is unwise for both, for both. and he, had, he has described the reason as to why he strongly opposes Uhuru Kenyatta and President William Ruto deal ahead of the 2027 elections. 
So let me return you back to Gujiri Wambugu's post criticizing Uhuru Kenyatta for working with President William Ruto. So Gujiri Wambugu shared a post from Wahome Thuku saying that I will be very brief and I will I will jump to the end of this statement because it is a very long statement. I just I don't want to read for you everything. Maybe you can still go and read it to uh, Gujiri Wambugu's Facebook page. He says that there is no upcoming or pending or intended handshake between President William Ruto and retired Uhuru Kenyatta. Not now, not in the foreseeable future. So that is his opinion, right? Then he proceeds to say that the narrative as is crafted by the government operatives to steal the show in Mount Kenya region, especially from the Deputy President His Excellency Ricardo Kashagwa. Now, if you want to know <laughs> that this person is supporting Ricardo Kashagwa while criticizing William Ruto's government, that is why he strongly opposes uh, this deal between Uhuru and William Ruto. He cannot say even the former, <laughs> the former DP Rigadi Kashagwa is still saying that the former, I mean the president, the deputy president Rigadi Kashagwa. That is the first red flag. That is a red flag. Then we proceed to say that it is the hate of desperation, the last strike of a dying camel called Kenya Kwisha. You know when he says Kenya Kwisha, already is is not truth being truthful, being truthful there. He proceeds to say that that is another red flag. It is carefully intended to indicate that the proposed appointments of former CS Mutai Kagwe endorsed by Uhuru Kenyatta. This narrative may damage, I mean, this is now the last point. This narrative may damage Mutai Kagwe's reputation and standing, but in the same breath, if anyone is hoping to use as a folder to hoodwink. Uh, and milk Mount Kenya like like a uh, dairy cow sahau sana so already is threatening that uh, William Ruto cannot achieve the Mount Kenya region no but all in all that is politics there must be opposers there must be proposers there must be the opposition side including when Raila Odinga joined William Ruto there are people who are supporting there are people who are opposing so that is politics So Uhuru Kenyatta has already made up his mind to support William Ruto in 2027. Very many people will oppose, very many people will support the move. That is politics. I don't know what you think. I want to know your thoughts. I want to know your opinion in the comment section down below. Do you support the former head of state Uhuru Kenyatta's move by rejecting Rigathi Gachagua for President William Ruto? Please don't forget to subscribe to this channel for more political updates. Let me see you again in my next video analysis. Remember my name is Jason. Bye bye and have a good night. Thank you.